Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick what's in my bag video for school. So last time I did a what's in my bag video when I brought my purse, my Pond LA purse to school and sometimes I need just a little bit more space and something that's a little bit more sturdy and when I do I use my backpack. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this backpack including notebooks, pens, makeup, and hand sanitizer, please stick around. Thanks everyone. All right, before we get right into the backpack itself, let's talk about the backpack and the things on the outside, the peripherals of my backpack. So this backpack is by Toomey, which I, this is my very first Toomey book bag. And what I love about this book bag is that it's extremely petite. It's very tiny. It's basically the minimum size for a functional backpack. It can fit uh, my folders, larger notebooks and things, but it's not too big where I'm swimming. So I'm just under five feet tall. Um, so the size of my backpack was really important for me. Um, I actually don't know that this backpack is still available. I actually bought it on clearance. Um, and so I think it's been discontinued since. Um, however, I did find one that if I were to purchase another backpack and I've actually debated it, um, it's kind of like a close cousin. It's slightly larger, which I like because it gives me variety in size. And it also has pockets on the side for, um, I guess like water bottles and other essentials. So I like that ability to organize my items. Um, and on top of that, like I said, it's just a little larger and it has like a gold finish here for the hardware instead of silver, which I actually like better. Um, but this one was in silver. And as you can see, my little attachment here has gold. Um, so it would have fit it perfectly. So I'll try to link that in the description box down below. There's a lot of items here that I'm going to try to link down below. However, you know, I kind of pick things up as I go. So if it's not available, just please uh, feel free to ask any questions or provide any suggestions in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you with where I got things if it's not already included. All right, so this book bag was just over $300, so it's pretty expensive. Um, before we get inside, it has two pockets in the front, this bigger pocket here, a smaller pocket here that's actually pretty deep, um, as well as, and this actually surprised me, ooh, excuse me, I had a pillow propping it up, um, as well as a pocket back here that's magnetic it has a magnetic clasp and what i love this pocket for i recently discovered it is that i actually put my university id and lanyard back here so that it's easy to access um, and it's pretty secure because it's on the back side so the funny story about that was that i actually just last night i thought i lost my id but it, i forgot that this pocket was back here and i was probably a little tipsy when i put it back there last time so i completely forgot um but yeah so let me prop this back up by the way, that pillow is one of the many pillows that I made myself <laughs> when I used to sew. But anyways, so before we get inside, this is one of my latest projects. Um, it's kind of like a semi-DIY. Basically, I purchased this hand sanitizer case from Bath & Body Works. You can probably kind of see it here. Um, if you're interested in seeing how to turn um, the lanyard that you purchase from Bath and Body Works for about $15 into a keychain only and separate lanyard. Um, just stick around and I talk about that in the end of this video. But essentially I got this as a keychain. I converted it because it had like a lanyard here and then up top um, to hold my hand sanitizer so that it's easy access on the outside of my bag. And um, I think I've spoke about this before. This is the eucalyptus spear spearmint version um, of the one that was uh, featured in my, I guess, purse video. What's in my bag video, my other one. Um, so this one I actually was able to find on Amazon. So that'll be in the description box down below. I typically purchase these in bulk uh, just cause I use them. But as I have, I think mentioned at the end of this video, I only resort to this when there's not a sink and soap around, um, just to tie me over until I do find a sink and soap. Um, so I don't use too much of this, but definitely I keep it in my car too, but anyways. So <laughs> that's where I have it out here. And uh, yeah, let's dive right into the bag itself. Um, actually, before we do, <laughs> I just wanted to mention one more thing here is that the uh, on the top here, it has like this handle and I like to use that to um, store this clip. Oh, the pillow's gonna fall again. <laughs> um, store a hair clip there like this. And um, yeah, I find this to be very useful. I also like to carry around a hair tie, um, but sometimes the clip I prefer. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so the angle is a little odd here. Um, so let's see if we can get through this at this angle. So um, let's go through the first front pocket here. And uh, what I love about this is that it has pockets within it as well. Um, they're pretty flat, quite large, um, but I like that it gives me the option to, I guess, organize this front pocket here. 
So on the left side, there's a pocket here on the left and right. So on the left side, we have my Rifle Paper Co. by Anthropology um, card wallet. It's similar to the one that I had in my other video, but just a different floral print. Um, it has two compartments here. What I like to use it for is not only my ID and the credit card, but also my metro card. So sometimes I'll put this in my pocket um, when I know that I'm taking the train just so that I don't have to stop and open up my book bag, but that's what it's for. Very easy to access. <laughs> uh, hopefully not too easy so that no one can pickpocket me, but um, also here on the right, I have this little A6 size notebook from Hobonichi. Um, I actually got it as a set with my Hobonichi A6 English planner this year. Um, it came with the cover on cover and uh, the writing board and things. So this is just one of three. And I like to keep my important notes in here so that I can access it easily. Um, also to match the, um, the card wallet here, I have this little wristlet. What I love about this wristlet is that it also gives me the opportunity to organize, um, but I use it for storage of my disposable masks that um, I had mentioned in my other video. They come individually wrapped, which isn't great for the environment, but for hygiene wise, it's great. Um, and then I can also throw some cash in here, which is pretty important when you live in New York City, um, just because a lot of times you get a discount or some places only uh, accept cash. So yep, I have this set here um, and let's see. So <laughs> I threw this in here because um, I had mentioned that I prefer using the cloth masks that I made um, when I have to use it uh, because it's better for the environment and I made them, they're more comfortable, they're easier to breathe in. So this is just an example, <laughs> it's not, it doesn't look as nice because it's been um, well loved, but it's just my, I love cats and this is just one of my ways of kind of just having fun with um, everything that was happening. So I have like these adjustable soft um, elastics and things, just things that I picked up and adapted along the way. So I'm gonna set these aside here and see what else we have. Um, I also have like a little pack of Welch's fruit snacks. Um, sometimes I need some sugar to keep me going. So I like to keep that in there. Um, that's all I have here. I'm going to throw these back in um, and then we'll move into the next pocket. All right, so let's see if I can pull this up and check out this pocket up front. So I also have this coin purse. It's like this cork coin purse that one of my friends got me, I think from Peru uh, when she was there on vacation. That's where I put all like my coins and, and change and things. Um, like I said, it's really important in New York to have coin. And then lastly, I have one of my the same one as last time in my other video, a Simply Gilded gel pen, uh, just so that it's easily accessible. So if I'm in class and I need to sign a piece of paper or something, then I have that, or if someone needs to borrow a pen. So that's what I have in the front. And then, like I said, um, I have my ID here, and then let's get into the big pocket. I apologize for the angle. Uh, it's very awkward, uh, even as I'm filming here. So I'm gonna fold this down. So inside here, in this book bag, there's a ton of pockets, um, actually. There's three here, one for probably like a pen, and then two kind of pockets like the front there, a zipper pocket in the front, and then a laptop tablet pocket here in the back. Um, but before we get into those pockets, let me empty out the bag so you can see uh, what's in here. So one of the first things I have here is my little kitty cute cat uh, in black thermos. Um, it's kind of tiny. I love it because I don't I don't hydrate as much as I should. That's why I always track it in my Hobonichi planners um, on the weekly habit trackers. So this is perfect for me. Um, and also if I need anything else, I can always pick it up at the vending machines at school. Um, I love that it's reusable. This is so funny. The tail kind of pops out. So you have like this um, little loop here if you need it. I don't I don't use, use it, but um, it's really cute. My brother actually bought this for me, I think. Um, either for my birthday or for Christmas a few years back. So this is something I like to keep with me. It actually matches my bag, I didn't realize that. <laughs> this is the um, one of my pencil cases that I featured in a few of my other videos. Great for fitting my Hobonichi weeks in here. But because I don't carry my Hobonichi planners to school, what I've been using it for is for chargers and um, some other things. So over here, this front pocket that has the magnetic clasps, I can just open it so you guys can see. Um, I have my iPad charger and my iPhone charger in here. Um, as you can see, because they share like a port, I only brought one of them. And then if I need to put my um, laptop charger, if I bring everything, which I try not to, but if I do, I can just throw that in the bigger pocket. Um, sometimes if you have like conversions here, those wires here, I can um, kind of like organize it with this elastic. <laughs> And then in the back here, um, it opens all the way. I just have some Kleenex uh, tissue. 
as well as uh, some Lysol wipes <laughs> that I sh shared in my other video and some makeup here. So let me see if I can open this guy up. I think what I'm gonna do after this is just pull everything out and lay it out on the bed. So, you know, just... so this is just, of course, my feminine products that I made this little pouch as I had um, explained in my other what's in the bag video. But yeah, yeah I just sewed this um, myself put a little clasp on there so that um, if I needed to, I guess, take this on the go, it's not quite as embarrassing. <laughs> and over here, um, I think I also featured this in another video that I did, um, but basically I love these NARS lip pencils. Um, so I keep that with me and my Urban Decay uh, Perversion, I think it's a waterproof fine liner. Um, it's a liquid liner that I use. So um, I like to keep one with me. I have like six of them. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, so let's pull everything out here. Um, and I guess I'll start back here. This is my iPad. So I'm gonna put this out on the bed and see what we got. Just so you can see what it has to offer, this is the, um, the laptop tablet case. This has the two pockets here, plus the pen holder, and then also the zipper pocket. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna set these guys aside. Um, all right, so I rearranged everything and uh, figured we'll go through this pile here, as well as my Dalphonics, um, I guess, pouch. So let's start from the top and then just make our way down. So on top, I have my 11 inch iPad Pro with my Apple Pencil and the Magic Keyboard. Um, this is the perfect thing. Like I think I purchased this to actually create my own stickers on Procreate and it ended up turning out to be my main, um, I guess, electronic computer source for school. So this was definitely worth the investment. I actually like to use um, certain apps to take notes and things electronically. I think it's um, hopefully better for the environment, um, but also for my back because I don't have to carry as much paper. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I've been kind of also playing around with um, being able to, I guess, um, plan electronically as well. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions about like apps and things that would be good for that, please let me know because I don't really have, <laughs> have too much on that. So yep, the Apple Pencil here and therefore I have my charger over there. All right, so I have a pile of notebooks that I like to take. I figured I'd share with you all. Um, it depends on what classes I'm taking um, and what my needs are for the day, but I figured I'd share it all with you. So this is on top of my A5 size Midori, um, I guess, notebook, and I think it's dotted, yep. This is the one I took last time as well in my purse here. I'll bring it closer so you can see the dots, yep. And then up top, it has like bolder dots for the dates. Um, if you wanna use that for dates and things, um, it has like a front page. And then I also purchased the clear cover to kind of protect the, um, the cover of this notebook. I love the simplicity of it and um, yeah. So that's what I have here. Over here, I have my Kukuyo uh, campus notebooks, very simple. It came in, I think a pack of like five or so, each in a different color, which I loved for coordinating for my classes. Um, the one thing about this notebook is that of course it lays flat as opposed to this other Kukuyo notebook that I have. Um, actually, I don't know what they call it but it's the B5 size with 26 rings. That's probably what they call it. They're not the soft um, rings. That's what I wanna try next, but they're really cool. Um, I featured this in another haul video and I've been loving this because it can open like this on your desk, which is great because at university, if you have friends and you sit next to people, there's not always space for you to be able to just like open your notebook um, flat like this and then also have a um, computer or tablet out on your desk. So I think that's really great for space saving. Um, for me particularly I'm about to go take an exam and I will probably need to take a photo and scan in these sheets um, which is great because I uh, sometimes have to draw graphs and things so it has like little dots here along the lines that helps to guide my handwriting so if I need to make a, a bold line in this direction I can do that as opposed to this um, notebook they only have it on the top and the bottom these dots here um, and not on these lines, which isn't a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's just different. They're just very different. So I have both and I'm very happy. And I love that the colors kind of coordinate with each other. 
Um, and then the last two items or notebooks that I have, well, the last notebook is this beautiful Kate Spade notebook in this floral print. It's like gold foiled, a little extra, um, but I got really excited when I signed up for grad school that I purchased a bunch of these. Um, I'll try to link them in the description box down below as well. They're well worth it. I love the cream color of the pages. You'll see that here. Um, there's nothing, I guess, too special about it other than the cream pages. Um, and the quality of the paper is great and it also has like this perforated line here um, so if you want to rip it out but also like I've ripped out the whole thing before where I didn't rip on the perforated line which I prefer because it didn't then it doesn't leave like the kind of trash behind um, but I really love this so and I think that it even has like folder pockets in the front it has this beautiful vibrant hot pink color so definitely my style. So the last item I have here, also featured in another video, I um, actually have this, I think it's a 12 pocket folder that I picked up off Amazon. And basically it allows me the flexibility to, um, I guess, organize my notes here. And um, it has like front and back and things. So if you're interested in that, um, yeah, I'll leave that down below. And then like I've mentioned before, um, I really like this because it has a pocket in the front. So what I typically do, I took it out for this video, is that I actually put um, my class schedule here so that I know what days I'll be in class or like what times and things. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set this aside, this pile, and we're gonna go through my Delphonics pouch. It's like my favorite item right now. All right guys, so um, I already did a video by the time this goes up, I already did a video about how much I love this pouch. So I'm gonna try not to like speak too highly of it. Just <laughs> but it's, it's amazing. It's 100% cotton. Um, it's a utility pouch. I think it's a medium size. It says it has 15 pockets. I take its word for it because it has a lot of pockets. I didn't count it. Um, it's so soft. It doesn't bleed on my hands, which is great. And it has just so many pockets. Great for organizing. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. So I guess I'll start off with some of my like essential items or supplies um, for makeup. <laughs> uh, I have hand cream here that I love to take with me on the go um, in this lavender scent. I love it. And then also my Rose um, Smith's Rosebud Salve, I guess I get um, usually from Sephora. This is what I like to use and I find it easy to take on the go. So over here in the front as well, <laughs> I'm looking to upgrade my pill case, uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. But this is just a pill case I had lying around the house, so um, because I need them, <laughs> I actually have that in the front here along with these essentials. Over here, it comes with three pen, um, I guess, slots. So I have my mechanical pencil here, as well as two of my Sarasa uh, Zebra. 0.5 uh, pens, I think from the vintage set. I'll try to link that if I can find it um, down below. Let's see. So I actually have these pockets are empty because there's just so many pockets. And then on the back here, there's uh, three pockets. I have my correction tape in the cream color here, as well as um, nothing in here actually <laughs> in this Velcro pocket. So definitely some room to grow if needed. I think it helps too because I have that other pencil pouch, um, which I like to keep my charger separate anyway, so it works out. Um, but if I'm like strapped for space, I can definitely shove it all in here. Um, so on the inside, you have four pockets. Um, so what I've started to do is bring my Cricut scissors with me because it has a cap and I've needed scissors and a stapler, like all the things that I thought I wouldn't need in school, I actually ended up needing. Um, so I'm trying to kind of build up my, my <laughs> Um, my pencil case here. So I also have one of my Hovenichi stencils. I think this is the scheduler. So I like this one because it's a little longer. So I like to use it as a straight edge when I'm taking exams, which I will do today. Um, and then these two pockets are empty. This one has an eraser that my friend just gifted me. Um, isn't it cute? It's a little bear, she knows me so well. So that's what I have here. I have my trusty calculator that I'll be needing today for my exam, as well as all of my um, zebra mild liners and a uni jet stream pen so i try to keep it simple because i don't want to get overwhelmed typically i don't carry all of these uh highlighters um the reason i'm carrying it with me is because i'm taking an exam and these highlighters actually help me a lot to organize my exam um it's open book so i color coded uh the practice exam so that like I can easily reference where things need to go. So that's what I have here. So that's the whole set. And then I also have my uni jet stream in 0.38 with three different colors. It's black, blue, and red that I picked up on um, jet pens, I think at one point in like a variety pack. So or sampler pack, but yeah, that's basically all I have. Um, that is 
everything that's in my bag. Uh, this video is probably gonna be a lot longer than once again I was expecting, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you all let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. As always, if you're not subscribed already, um, I would really appreciate it if you joined so that the next time I release content about grad school, what's in my bag and things, stationery um, and planners, that you'll be notified. So thank you so much for taking the time and until next time, bye everyone. Also, if you wanna stick around, um, I will be showing you what I did to um, that keychain to make it a keychain and not a lanyard. All right, bye. All right, so as promised, I said I would go over how simple the project was. So basically, I went to um, Bath and Body Works and I purchased, um, I think, a set of like 10 of these hand sanitizers just because it comes out cheaper if you buy them in bulk. And to be honest, these run out pretty quickly if you're using them often. Uh, these days, I don't really try to use this. This is like my last resort if there is no water, running water or soap nearby, um, but it is, has come in handy um, and it definitely ties me over until I can find a sink. <laughs> and then I also purchased this, uh, you can kind of see it here, this lightly imprinted bath um, and body works symbol here. And it, it's basically a case for um, these little mini hand sanitizers. However, it actually is a lanyard, so you can see here. So before we open it up, I just want to show you that um, I purchased this for $14.95 just a tip and trick that I like to use to sign up for their mailing list. Um, they send me coupons every month. So I actually got all of this at 25, no 20% off I think um, is typically the coupon that they like to send out. So um, yeah, try to do that. And so it has this little lanyard for your maybe ID or some kind of key card holder and it's it extends, which is kind of nice. I would imagine it probably has like an emergency release, although I can't see that here, but um, it, it definitely is a nice um, attachment. It has a little gold ring here um, to attach to this actual pouch and then um, a keychain as well as a gold lanyard. So for my purposes, I wanted to hang it on the outside of my book bag um, and therefore I didn't actually need the lanyard portion. So what I decided to do was, and so let me just open it up, take this out is basically to detach this chain here that I don't need and then also this lanyard portion for my ID and instead maybe repurpose it so that this can be a lanyard just for an ID and then have this as a keychain for my book bag. And it's really as simple as that, just taking off this ring here as well as this ring and then attaching them to each other. Um, hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> if it was, I'd really appreciate it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up to let me know. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time. And until next time, bye everyone.